Hey, what's up everyone? Hitbo TC here with another full guide video. This time we are focused on Tall Tale number two. And just like the other guide, I'm taking you through the whole Tall Tale, kind of showing you each puzzle, each step of the way, and all of the things that you need to do to get all of the commendations unlocked. You can start the tall tale just like any of the other tall tales at the castaways camp on the outpost go ahead and vote it in and you are good to go after some quick dialogue you're going to get a book that's basically going to tell you to sail to the southwest part of sea of thieves of the map so after the bit of dialogue go ahead and jump on your ship and set sail to like i said the southwest part of the map if you're kind of confused on where to go there will be a blue beacon in the sky so just find that follow it and go to it now this might have other ships there i recommend just leaving them alone everyone's just trying to do the tall tales and there's no reward for sinking another ship so if there is somebody there doing it just leave them be after you get to this point you're going to jump off your ship and probably one of the coolest parts of this whole tall tale is this experience kind of going down below so you're going to just follow the shipwreck and swim all the way down now along this pathway you're going to see these kind of shipwreck pieces with bubbles floating up if you need air swim to one of those and you will get a full breath of air following the shipwreck eventually you are going to be led to the sunken black pearl and this scene is probably one of my favorite scenes in all of the new tall tales it is just absolutely amazing well once you get to the black death you're going to go to the top of the ship and you're going to find kind of this passage way down below going down below you're going to see this crate here you're going to move the crate out of the way and kind of swim through it right here next you'll have to move this plank to let the cannon kind of slide through and it'll open up the next passageway now in this final room on the black pearl you're gonna see this claw and i want you to swim over to the claw and grab the key this key is going to open the captain's quarters on the black pearl so once you get the key swim back up and go to the captain's quarters Now, once you open the door, go ahead and swim on in. And on this table here, you are going to find Jack's compass. Pick up this compass, and it is going to show you exactly where you need to go. Once you have the compass, swim back out. And immediately, I want you to kind of look to the right side here, and you're going to see a cave entrance. This is the first part of this tall tale. making your way through the cave entrance eventually you're going to find an air pocket and this is going to lead you to the next step and to a bunch of puzzles so strap in i've tried to make this as easy as possible now anytime you see one of these blue shiny guys go ahead and hit them with your sword or a gun and it's going to open up the next passage once you go through jump in the water and just follow the passage along until you get to the next room Eventually, you're going to get to this huge room that has a lot of mermaid statues. This is going to be where a lot of the puzzles are going to happen. You're going to be greeted by some enemies. Go ahead and kill them. I'm not going to kind of give it away, but go ahead and just destroy these enemies. And eventually, what's going to happen is one of them is going to drop a gem that you are going to place in one of the mermaid statues. I 
pick up the gem and i want you to find the statue that is missing a gem for its heart now it's right here it's the barnacle mermaid statue so go ahead and place it there now before we do any puzzles i want you to go find the first journal it's on the bottom floor of this room you turn around on the opposite side of where you entered you're going to see this mermaid statue and on the back side of this debris you will find the very first journal Now, basically how these mermaid puzzles work is there's going to be symbols on the wall and you need to make the mermaid statues match those symbols so you can tell what each mermaid statue is by what it's holding in its hand now i've shown you kind of the position that they need to be right here on the screen after you get each arm in position you are going to shoot the statue that has the horn and it's going to kind of activate that next thing so in this case i did the first puzzle it is starting to fill up the room with water it's going to take you to the next part and yes you guessed it more mermaid puzzles now again this is pretty simple there's three positions there's a high a medium and a low and i'm going to show you throughout the rest of this guide what each one of them looks like when it is done correctly now one thing i do want to point out is each statue has something unique in their hand you have a chain you have a barnacle and you have a stone so it kind of makes it easy to tell what statue needs to be what so after you kind of completed the next part of the puzzle you're going to start this geyser you're going to jump in the geyser it's going to take you to the next level of this huge room and here you're going to fight yes you guessed it even more enemies so so get ready for another fight and yes at the end of this fight you're going to get a another siren heart and you're going to go put it in one of the mermaid statues now this one was a little bit tricky because there is a statue that is uh not with the others so just really quickly again these are just showing you the positions that each of these statues need to be in but the statue that took me a, a second to find is actually right here and you can move the arm by just shooting it it's good to know because you're going to need this later on in this tall tale after you completed all of the statues placing the arms in the positions that they need to be in go ahead and again shoot the horned statue the one with the horn and it's going to fill the room with water now before you leave this room there is another journal and it is above the statue that we had to shoot earlier right here on this rock so go ahead and make sure you get it this is the second journal after completing that, you're gonna swim all the way to the top and follow the path to get to the very top of this kind of rock spiral. Once you get to the top, you're going to be introduced, if you haven't already, to the Trident. And these are super fun to use. There are quite a few guide videos already out there on the YouTubes. I plan to make some in the future as well. And honestly, I plan to have some fun with them. So go ahead and pick it up. You're gonna need it because your next objective is to kind of kill the siren guards after some dialogue you're going to be able to swim through the windows and you will fight these sirens after a little while you'll kill all of them and one of them will drop yet another siren heart now this one you're going to place in a mermaid statue next to the big gate kind of right in front of the black pearl so it's going to take a bit to swim there but once you get there you're going to see this huge door and to the right will be another statue and this is where you're going to place this siren heart now just like you see there there's two mermaid statues on the left and the right and you make sure that their arms are in the correct position so after doing that you're going to kind of to the left of the door above it you're going to see the statue with the horn go up and hit it with a sword or shoot it with a gun to kind of open this huge door now after this door opens you are going to find the third journal and i'm going to show you exactly where that thing is
after getting the third journal you're going to make your way to the left of the cave and swim on up Eventually, you're going to get to this room, and yes, yet again, you guessed it, there is another mermaid puzzle. It's pretty simple, though. All the statues are kind of bunched up together, so just make sure that the arms are in the correct positions, and you are set. Now, the one thing that I do want to comment on is the statue with the horn. It took me a second to find. You have to swim all the way to the top, grab some air, and you'll be able to shoot the horned statue through the grates of the ceiling. This is going to lower the water and you're going to get into a quick fight with some AI that will spawn. There are tridents that you can use, so I do recommend using them. They are a bunch of fun, especially against the big claw guys, kind of rocks their world a little bit. Now, really important before you open the pulley and go through the door i want you to look at the door go to the right and jump into this pool of water this is where the fourth journal is now if you don't do this and you go through the door you cannot backtrack so it is super important before you go through the door you go read this journal now after reading the fourth journal go swim back up pull the pulley and open the door and walk on through this next room has the last journal, but it also has the key to the chest of sorrow. So we're gonna get to that here in a second. First things first, let's find that last journal. So you're gonna come up here, jump on these rocks and pull this pulley, which will bring down this shipwreck piece. Once it's all the way down, run and jump on it, and it'll kind of bring you up to the next path. So you're gonna kind of jump over here and make your way up the path. Now the last journal is in the captain's quarters of the shipwreck, so you'll jump through the ceiling here. Once you fall through, the journal is right here on the right. It's the last one, so this completes all five journals for you. After completing that, you're going to make your way through the back of the ship, jump down on this rock path, and it's going to take you to, I think, what is the last mermaid puzzle for this tall tale. So this is kind of a unique one in that you can only shoot it with your gun. So you're going to make your way down here. There's an ammo crate just in case you don't have any ammo and you're gonna to need to make sure that all of the arms are in the correct position. You can shoot them through the grate. It's pretty easy to do. Now, if you don't remember the horned statue, the statue with the horn was above the ceiling. So you have to kind of make your way back to the shipwreck and you'll see it. Once the room is filled up with water, you'll be able to reach this ladder and grab this pulley and kind of open the path to the next way. But before you go any further, once you jump across this beam, you're gonna want a key that's gonna open up the Silver Blade Captain's Quarters and you can find that key right here. So just kind of jump over here and make your way into this cave and you'll see it right here on some coral. Take this key into the next room and you are in business. Now be careful not to fall through the floor here. I don't know if you can fall or not through it. So just kind of walk to the right. Eventually, you'll get to this passageway. You'll shoot the blue glowing coral thing and you'll make your way through. Now, this is an awesome fight that you're about to get into, but I don't want you to lose this key. So I want you to place it right in front of the door that it unlocks. Much 
that is precious to me, and I shall not permit you to defile it with your witless thievery. Dance! So to not lose the key, I recommend placing it in front of the captain's quarters door so you don't misplace it. And basically at this point, you're just going to go on a little bit of a couple waves fighting. Uh, this particular instance, I actually was unlucky and got the barrels that didn't have any weapon or didn't have any supplies in them. So no cannonballs and no food. So I just had to use my flintlock, a little bit of wit, and just kind of do all of these waves with the flintlock. So... It's pretty simple. You're going to defeat all the enemy and then grab the capstan and raise the ship up. But eventually, you're going to get to this awesome part, which is the Kraken fighting. Yeah, it's freaking awesome. Enjoy this fight. It's one of the best ones in the Tall Tales. You're going to have some borders on the AI. And eventually, what's going to be awesome about this is you are going to finally see the face of Karen herself. And let me just say, she's exactly how I always imagined her. So I really, like I said, love this part of the Tall Tale. The best way to kill Karen is to just jump on the cannons and shoot her in the face with cannonballs so I didn't have a cannonball so this particular fight took me quite a while to kind of complete so we're just kind of skip forward but yeah enjoy the fight it's super fun After defeating Karen go back grab the key open the captain's quarters and this really sad chest of legends you're gonna need to take this with you up the crow's nest and to the next room that will unlock the final combination Now, once you get into this room with the chest of sorrows, it is going to basically open this door just by simply having this chest of sorrows in this room. But in this case, I put it in front of the door, but I don't think it actually matters. And this is where you get your last commendation for this tall tale. Well, at least the ones that you have to kind of figure out anyway. So to get your final commendation, you actually need to read all of the inscriptions on the walls. Now, there's quite a few of them. I believe there is five of them. So take your time, read it. It's a lot of fun, but I'm going to kind of fast forward through this part. But once you read all of these, you're going to get this commendation unlocked. After completing this, you're going to make your way and fight the final boss. So grab yourself a trident and just have some fun. This fight's pretty cool, too. Eventually, you are going to kill her and the water in the room will drain. I only wish to avenge you. Once the room is drained, you're going to go to the pool in the middle of the room, make your way down, and you are going to get to the last part of this tall tale where you get to meet Mr. Gibbs himself. However, they are encapsulated in some evil mermaid statues, so you do have to release them from their curse. So grab some ammo and go ahead and shoot all of the statues. Soon as not remember. Oh, 
I assume we have you to thank for our rescue. Eventually, Gibbs is going to ask for Jack Sparrow's compass. So grab that and give it to him and you will complete this tall tale. And there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this guide. I got a lot of great feedback from the first tall tale guide that I did. And I hope you guys enjoyed this one just as much. If you did enjoy it and you found it useful, make sure to hit that subscribe button, comment down below, and heck, hit the like button if you would like to as well. Really appreciate it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope you guys are enjoying these new pirate tales in Sea of Thieves.